how did we uh, celebrate our 10th anniversary at Rohe? This past week, we took two days off work uh, to just be together, to eat a lot, uh, celebrate, uh, have fun, walk down memory lane. And, and one of the things that we looked at as we were planning these uh, two days of celebration was uh, how do we show up meaningfully for everyone in the room? We have about 100 of us. And um, so we decided that we would take about six hours to craft what we call our personal identity statement. I think corporately at Rohe, we our identity statement is, is, uh, uh, is strong. We understand who we are uh, as an organization. Uh, we exist to inspire hope, joy, courage, and purpose in the global workforce. And we do this um, by serving others, uh, walking in compassion, and having the will to succeed. So we are very clear on that. And sometimes we are less clear on who we are as individuals. And so uh, it was a wonderful exercise uh, for us to be able to craft out our statements. Uh, so I want to encourage all of us, um, have you crafted your own identity statement that um, um, when we know our identity, we know how we should act. Uh, and, and we are able to act consistently in all given situations. Uh, when times get tough or when times uh, are good, that we can remind each other, hey, this is who you are. Uh, and this is what you're called to do. And these are the people you're called to serve. And uh, one way is to also understand uh, the meaning of your name. What does your name mean? What are some legacy statements? So for instance, what would you like your husband to say about you in 20 years? How would you like your children to remember you? Um, one of the other things that we look at was also um, what are some very uh, God-given abilities and traits that you have that is unique to you? For some of us, um, speaking truth uh, comes very naturally. For some of us, um, uh, being encouraging comes naturally. Uh, for some of us, we are very good in, in cerebrally, in terms of our, our, the way we think. We are able to think deep. Um, and and so, so then what we do then is to coin all these statements together and have an identity statement. Um, I'd like to read with you, to you, one of my um, good friend, Eddie. Um, Eddie had his statements written and I will just summarize it for, for, for you for, for now. And he says here, I'm Eddie. Uh, and I'm called to serve, lead, and teach uh, people and to see them succeed. I'm blessed with the gift of understanding others and the ability to listen. Uh, I'm compassionate and I believe that everyone deserves a chance to do their best. Um, I'm faithful and a loving husband to my wife, Julia, and a father to my two children, Caleb and uh, Kaylin. I will give of my best to my two children and I hope that they will remember me as one who, com who, who is passionate. Um, and so, so these are just some examples uh, that, uh, that can help craft your identity statement. So I hope this inspires you. I also wanted to share with you, this is, uh, this Rohe Tan thing was a gift by uh, one of our interns. Um, his name is William, and he was able to do a caricature of all our staff. I think there's about 100 people here that he put together, interns as well as our staff uh, and associates. Um, so yeah, I, I, um, I hope you, uh, this will inspire you to take some time to contemplate on um, what you're called to do, who you're called to serve, and what energizes you uh, to give of your best. So um, till the next episode, I wish you well. Bye-bye.